Welcome to the Data Science Internship Program at Cloud Credits Technologies. We like to showcase Project 1, Sentiment Analysis on Social Media. In this project, we're diving into the world of natural language processing to understand how people feel about different topics, all based on their social media posts. The ultimate goal? To automatically determine whether a post is generally positive, negative, or neutral. Think of it as teaching a computer to understand human emotions through text. We focused specifically on cryptocurrency sentiment by analyzing Telegram comments from experts to try and better understand the market trends. Here's how we tackled this project, step by step. First, we had to define the problem. What exactly are we trying to do? In this case, it's classifying social media posts into three buckets positive, negative, or neutral. This is a multi-class classification problem. Pretty straightforward. Next, it's all about collecting and preparing the data. This involved grabbing our dataset of social media posts. Then, we used these powerful Python libraries, Pandas, think of it as Excel for Python. We used it to load our data from the CSV file and manipulate it into useful tables, matplotlib.pyplot, this is how we're making plots and charts to see what's going on in our data, number py. Number py lets us easily complete math operations on the data. Now comes the fun part, cleaning and pre-processing the data. Social media text can be messy, so we removed website addresses, usernames, and special symbols. We converted everything to lowercase for consistency, and filled in any missing posts. Finally, we prepared the text by breaking it into individual words, getting rid of common words like the and a, these are called stop words, and simplifying words to their base form, for example, turning running into run, this is called lemmatization. Now that we have our clean dataset, we move to exploratory data analysis, or EDA. EDA is where we try to get a feeling for the data. Let's check some examples. Sentiment distribution, we looked at the total of each sentiment, positive, negative, and neutral. As you can see in the data we have about 8,789 positive sentiments, 3,879 neutral sentiments, and 2044 negative sentiments. Most common words, we also checked the most common words in the dataset, which include VIP, market, finance, target, and many others. This helps to get an overall look for what the messages are about. Sentiment distribution by channel, next, we also visualized the distribution of sentiments per channel. This shows the distribution of sentiments for Bitcoin bullets, CryptoScanner 100 eyes, verified crypto news, Binance killers, Binance signals, universal crypto signals, and Wolf of Trading. Sentiment trends over time. We also looked at the sentiments over the time frame provided in the data. Here you can see the positive, negative, and neutral sentiments over time. Word cloud visualization. We then looked at a word cloud visualization for positive and negative words. This helps us understand, at a glance, the key themes associated with each sentiment. Average views per sentiment. Here, we visualized the average views per sentiment. On average negative posts had about 15,733 views, neutral posts had 13,376 views, and positive posts had about 15,106 views. Sentiment polarity distribution. This distribution helps us understand the strength of the sentiment. Are the sentiments weakly positive, strongly positive, or somewhere in between? Sentiment ratio over time. We can check for any correlation between a sentiment ratio and other events that may affect it such as breaking news or holidays. Ngram analysis. An ngram analysis allows us to find words that are commonly paired together, and we found that these crypto communities frequently used phrases like Binance Killer and Bitcoin Bullet. Distribution of text length. Finally, a text length summary of the process text shows on average, about 21 words per text. Back to the process, now with our EDA complete, 
we can proceed to feature engineering. Now, computers can't understand text directly. So, we use a technique called TFIDF to convert the text into numerical data that the model can use. Essentially, it counts words but also adjusts for how common they are in the entire dataset. Once we have features, we split the data into two sets, one to train the model, teaching it to recognize sentiment, and another to test how well it learned. Then, we choose a model. Naive Bayes is a common choice for text classification, but we experimented with several models. Next, we take the training data and train the model, or feed the training data to the model to learn the patterns. Lastly, we take the test data and evaluate the model. This shows us how accurately the model predicts sentiment. This shows an accuracy score and detailed report showing precision, recall, and F1 score for each sentiment category. We also create a confusion matrix to see where the model is making mistakes. With the initial models done, we go through model improvements. We also try different classifiers like logistic regression or support vector machines. By tuning our machine learning models, we can see improvements such as going from 81% accuracy to 83% by tuning our hyperparameters. Finally, we can deploy our model. This involves putting the trained model into a real-world application where it can be used to make predictions on new data. This might involve creating an API, deploying to a cloud platform, or embedding the model in a software application. The code includes an example of how to save the trained model and scaler to files, which can then be loaded and used in a separate application. Conclusion to summarize, this project successfully implemented sentiment analysis on social media data, achieving promising results with logistic regression and SVM models. While the initial naive Bayes model provided a baseline, hyperparameter tuning significantly improved the performance of logistic regression and SVM, demonstrating their effectiveness in capturing nuanced sentiment. The meticulous data pre-processing, feature engineering, TFIDF, and EDA were crucial for model accuracy. Recommendation Finally, for future improvements we recommend focusing on further refining the top-performing logistic regression and SVM models, potentially exploring more advanced techniques like bird embeddings for even better contextual understanding. We also want to prioritize deploying the chosen model via an API to facilitate real-time sentiment analysis for practical applications. And that concludes Project 1, Sentiment Analysis on Social Media. This project represents a valuable learning experience and provides a foundation for future exploration in the field of natural language processing. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting projects.